Hey guys, it's uh, Tyron here again with... Uh, <coughs> what the? Who the heck are you? I'm Damon. Okay, Daniel, what, what are you... It's, uh, it's Damon. Okay, you have anything you want to say to the camera while you're there? Hey guys, um, <laughs> I'm sick so I can't drop a sick intro for you guys. But still hope you enjoy the traffic talk. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks for that, Daniel. Damon. Um, shut up, man! Okay, moving on, guys. Uh, I don't know how this guy got you, but moving on. Brief update on the Movember. It's, it's going well. I feel super scruffy. This is scruffy because I just haven't shaved. And you can judge me for that, that's alright. It's coming off probably when I get home tonight. Um, the truck. So, bit of traffic, bit of a talk. That's why it's called Traffic Talk. Um, as I was trying to say earlier before I was so rudely interrupted, my name's Tyron, um, also known as, as Adliata. Um, let me give you a very brief update on some of the new stuff that's happened in the last while. So last week we chatted about what was going on in Zimbabwe. And wouldn't you know it, after we record that video and upload it, uh, we are talking about what's gonna happen with Mugabe, we find out later that day that he stepped down, which is great. So there's a lot of hope there. Um, there's been a lot of celebration that's been happening in that in that um, country, and people are just super happy that he's he stepped down. There's obviously a lot of hope that whoever comes in power next is going to uh, turn things around. So good for them. I think that's really that's encouraging. Um, I heard someone say as well that Africa has proven itself twice now. Um, both here in South Africa and in Zim that you can have a regime change and a huge change in the way that politics are being run without it having to turn into some sort of super violent um, coup d'etat although I'm sure there was a bit, of, a bit of violence in both cases but let's not get into that because this is not a politics channel um, one of those exists but I'm not going to tell you where to find it um, South African politics moving on what else happened uh, from last week? We spoke about Tickle and her Splatfest that she did with Rob's Forbes. Rob's Forbes. Do that. Um, if he ever watches these, he's probably just going to shake his head because I can't say his name properly. Both of them at the Nintendo store in Santon. Uh, they had that, that little competition on the Switch, which was, looked like a lot of fun. I did want to go to that. I couldn't make it, unfortunately. Um, but it was Cheese Girls, no, it was the Cheese Boys, which was Rob's team, I, I remember the name this time, and the Cherries, which was Tech Girls' team, and Tech Girls got, apparently they got beat down, um, but like it wasn't streamed or anything, so there was no way you could tell, but yeah, that that's, that's something that happened, um, anything else that's happened, um, today is the 28th, I'm looking at my watch for the date um, and that's an important date for two reasons first off those of you who were writing exams majority of the public schools have now finished with the exams yesterday was the last one with English so good for you guys that's that's an accomplishment hopefully you pass otherwise it's not an accomplishment um, but let's not talk about that because that gives people anxiety I remember when I wrote my exams and um, had finished all my papers whatever I had that moment where I was like uh don't have to isn't there another one and I kept having to check my timetable over and over again to make sure that somehow I hadn't missed an exam that and studying for the wrong exam <laughs> on the wrong day wrong day are the two worst feelings that I had during the exam also obviously just not knowing what I was trying to write in the exam paper because that happened as well but it was uh, a very tense time for me so those of you who are finished now's a good time to relax now's a good time to um, take it easy uh, have a bit of a breather I know there are still some of you guys that are still writing out there um, some of the other languages I think still have papers but majority of the schools I think are done so good for you guys 
I would love to know if you are watching this and you were writing exams, what you actually plan to do between now and, you know, like next year when you should be going into varsity. Are you going to try and find work? Are you going to try and find sleep? Are you trying to find games to play? It'd be cool to hear that. So if you are writing exams and you've just stopped for the year, um, why don't you leave a comment down there and we'll check them out and see what you guys are talking about. I want to know what you guys have been doing or plan to do. Um, if you have no plans, today is the 28th, like I said, and the importance of that is that it's the last day of the current Steam sale that's happening. So if you finish exams and you're looking for something to do, there are a lot of games on Steam and there are a lot of games on sale. When the sale started, I got a nice email from Steam saying, hey, a couple of items on your wish list are, are on sale. And I checked and there were 26 items on my wish list that are on sale, um, which is a, a fairly big number, but I double checked and I have 46 items mm -hmm. on my wish list. So that's quite a big number of, um, of games. And it's because I just add them on and then I try and buy them later. And obviously, I normally I only buy my games on sale because I'm a cheapskate. Um, unless it's really, 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 really something I'm willing to spend all the money on. Um, I'll wait for it to be on sale. So, if you're looking for something to play, now's a good time to go check them out and try and buy a game on the cheap. And it'll keep you entertained for a while. The other thing that I want to mention that if obviously if you don't get anything from this sale there is another one coming up um, Steam surprise sale starting on the 21st of December so 21st of December till Jan beginning of Jan will they be running this next big one which I mean you could hold out until then to see if there's something you really want and if there's something that uh, isn't on sale now that would be on sale then so those are your options I'm kind of undecided I'm looking for a particular game that's on the top of my list the cheapest game on my wish list is 26 Rand which is not a lot of money but it's a game called Hacknet that I've been thinking about playing for a while um, it's very different to what most people or it's very different to a lot of games because it's basically normally just uh, typing in code and trying to hack things um, simulated servers and stuff like that which to me can be slightly interesting so I want to check that out I haven't decided if it's something I should get or if it's um, something I should skip so if you've played it and you're watching this let me know I'd be interested to know what other people have thought of the game I mean there's good and mixed reviews so yeah let me know um, that is some of the, the highlights, that's some of the stuff that's happening. I would like to also chat about, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I've got two things I still want to talk about. We're sitting at eight minutes. I'm really trying to make these short. I know that if they get a bit too long, you guys might be a bit distracted by shiny things around you and then you don't watch the whole video. And I would want you to watch the whole video. So, so please watch the whole video. If you're still watching right now, Click the like button. See, I'm getting good at this whole dropping in the hints throughout the video thing. I promise, I'm getting better, guys. I'm getting better. Um, so, moving on, what are we talking about? Wish lists, wish list items. Oh, this helps me with another question. So, this is something I want to ask you guys about. Um, I do this live stream on Thursdays where I normally play a video game. It doesn't happen every Thursday. It happens some Thursdays um, and I've been playing Dead Space 2 just purely because I started playing it the one day out of randomness and now I'm hooked and I want to finish the story I don't like having incomplete stories so I'm in the last chapter of that game from what I know and I'm running away from a very big monster and there's a person in the road so excuse me while I change lanes yo 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 wave at me son that's an alt okay Thanks, bye. Um, people in orange vests. They rule the world. Or at least they think they do. Now we have to change lens again. So here we go. <laughs> 
So, Dead Space 2, playing that at the moment. I want to finish it, so I'm hoping to finish that on Thursday. I'll talk about why that might not happen in a moment, in a moment, in a minute. And um, yeah, so obviously I need to find another game to play, right? I want to play something else in December or play other things, other games in December. So, if you're watching this and you have some games that you really recommend um, that I play, um, or should try out then please please tell me down below and um, obviously I've got the games like CSGO um, and those type of multiplayer games as options but I do generally play more co-op style I do generally play more single player stories when I stream purely uh, shaky shake um, purely because I quite enjoy taking the opportunity to, to dig through a story and sometimes having chat help me make decisions like in some of the bigger games uh, can be quite fun but uh, having said that I am pretty open to multiplayer games so if you're watching this let me know uh, some of the games that you think I should be playing otherwise what you can do as well is um, my my steam profile is oddly utter and I'm fairly certain that you can go and check my wish list of 46 games and you can tell me which one of those you would think would be fun for me to buy and play on on uh, on Thursday nights in a stream um, so you can do that there's obviously a whole bunch of other games that are owned that aren't in stream um, and in Steam sorry uh, and I'll try and see if there's a way for me to maybe compile a list although that sounds like a lot of work maybe I'll have a minion do that for me somehow I don't know I'll figure that out um, and I'll, I'll put all the games in a, in a list and we can see so if it's on my list, then you can tell me, hey, get the game, let's play it. Or if it's not on my list and you have another suggestion, I'll obviously make like an other field where you can type it in what you want me to play, and I'll I'll think about it. No, no guarantees though. Anyway, what I was saying just now about maybe not doing it on Thursday. So my Thursday nights uh, are dependent on what's happening else in the week. I am doing a lot of things during the evenings so that lady's watching me on the side of the road talk to the camera and she has no clue because you can't see it so she gave me some funny looks um moving on from that we were talking about shut up daniel thursday night streams um so yeah help me help me choose a game i uh, also don't know if I'll be able to stream this evening I mean this evening Thursday evening because there is some stuff happening on this channel and uh, I'm not gonna say what but it involves props and it involves a Friday a Friday video so that's different I don't normally upload on a Friday so please click the subscribe button if you haven't already what is wrong with you click the button uh, and I will see you on Friday with with more details about what was happening there but because of the friday video it involves unlike this one it involves a, a decent amount of editing uh, to make it work so if i have to edit i'll probably only be able to edit later in the week because i haven't shot anything yet which means that it'll probably only be on like a thursday which means i won't be able to stream because i'd have to be editing but we'll see somehow i might end up tanking some time somewhere else and just being a machine and managing both I don't I don't know let's see how that works out so in summary because it's now 13 minutes left I would like to say thank you for watching this video um, you're the real MVP for watching the whole thing uh, again smash the like button again let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about in these traffic talk videos I'm very open to suggestions I want this to be something that's a little bit more community based not just me ranting about stuff but listening to what you guys have to say and listening to what you guys want to talk about and then actually discussing that with you guys so if you want to do that you can hit me up on twitter at oddly otter or you can um, put it down in the comments below and i will check those out and i'll i'll use them or i won't use them no harm no foul so do that click subscribe if you haven't already come on click it and I will see you guys in a, another video later this week. Bye!